And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got open-air baseball for you on the show. It's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Seattle Mariners. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go. And pitching in this game, number 33. Four-pitch guy, he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order, and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. So in now for the Angels, number nine. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Hernandez makes the catch, and there's one gone. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. They're facing a pitcher today who's prone to giving up homers, so we'll see. We might get some big swings here today. Yeah, I think the key, though, and the reason why he gives up those homers is that guys are locking in, they're aggressive, and they have a high confidence level. So I think if that's the approach these hitters take, with the stuff he's got there on the mound, yeah, there's a good chance that there'll be some balls that fly a long way. But you can't get too big in your swing. Otherwise, you'll be really frustrated after this one. It's a good take. Two-two now. Got him looking for the K. And now the catcher comes up to him. Logan Ohapi. Ground ball left side. They get the force. And that's the third out. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Now it'll be the M's turn. No score. Welcome back. And our pitcher tonight, Patrick Sandoval. Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time, high leg kick, and by the time the hitter sees it, it's Way right on top of it. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. J.P. Crawford. The other way, Moose. Over to first, one up, one down. Batting second. And now we check out the Mariners lineup. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know guys are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing that can get out of the ballpark with a guy who's got decent pop. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Goes down looking. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Batting four. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. These are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. Makes the catch up against the wall. Mariners leave one. We played an inning, no score. Set for the start of the inning. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to it. Eduardo Escobar. Now 
Next pitch is outside. Good eye in that spot. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. That one's in there. Full count Three now. Two strike. That's Struck three. him out looking. Matt Thice comes up to hit here. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. Next offering is foul back. The why to kick the pitch. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Rusty Valentine doing the umpiring behind the dish for us. Maybe the best name in the league. <laughs> Yeah, that's a solid one, no doubt. I mean, who's better to ask than you? I kind of wonder if Rusty's his actual name or just a nickname. Yeah, no clue. Three, and misses inside. Anyways, Rusty's got a good zone, very good on the corners of the plate, but he'll give pitchers a little bit above the letters and below the knees if they're earning it. One down, base is empty. Fights it off, he'll see another. Second inning here, no score. And he walked him. Randall Gritchick now. There's a 1 1. And it's strike two. Thice, the base runner at first with one out. Fouls it off, still one and two. Righty delivers. Pitch oh. misses there, and it's two and two. Swing and a ball popped up. Suarez gets under it. And there are two down. Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit in the launch angle. Not where he needed it to be. Fouls one off. Two and two. And a pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And that skips in the dirt. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Keeps the at-back going with a foul ball. Three and two. Payoff pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And 
and here it comes. In the air to left, down the line. Moore brings it in for the third out. Angels strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. And stepping in for the Mariners, A. Eugenio Suarez. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. An absolutely majestic shot. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Ty France up next for the Mariners. Next oh. offering is down low. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Liner picked on the hop at first. He handles it himself. That's one out the bottom of the second. Batting seven. No left fielder. Here's Dylan Moore. And now it's even up. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 2-2. Two -two. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. That one ran inside. Almost got him. And down on strikes. And yeah, there's two away. This guy will throw any pitch at any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Two outs. Base is empty. And up next for Seattle, Sam Haggerty. And now 2-1. 2-1. Oh, Brown ball to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. The Mariners pick up a run thanks to this solo homer. It's now 1-0. New inning getting started. So in now for the Angels, Jordan Adams. The 1-1. And another ball. Two balls, one strike. Popped up right side, Caballero settles under this one, makes the catch, and there's one away. Now batting, number 18. Number 18, the next to hit for the Angels. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. 1-1 one, one now. And a swing and a miss. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. The pitch. Two balls. Two strikes. And that just misses. He goes down looking. I got my to get the blessing for the bread Now it's the shortstop, number nine. He's 0 for 1. Zach Neto. And the righty deals. That one fouled off. The 
wide the kick in the one two gets a piece and stays alive really great change of speeds he goes off the off speed to the fastball and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next cuts and misses it's a strikeout Angels held in check they trail here one nothing back in Seattle and now the rookie go. second Ooh, baseman Mariner. Jose Caballero second baseman. Jose Caballero swings and misses leadoff man retired here in the third JP Crawford up next for the Mariners grounded out his first time Pitch misses oh. there, and it's two and one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. And a 3-1 on the way. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Ball to strike. Check swing, no appeal. Swings and misses. And out two and two. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. That one lifted to left. Gritchick drifts towards it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. The next offering misses. Three and two down. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Crawford over at second. Hernandez on at first with two down. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Gritchick sizing it up. Makes the grab on the run. And that ends the inning. Mariners leave a couple, but they lead it one to nothing. And welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Mike Moustakis. Not close with that one. Ball two. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's the catcher, Logan O'Hoppy. Logan O'Hoppy. In the air, right side. Hernandez ranging after it. And that quickly, two away. The batter number five. Eduardo Escobar, Eduardo the next to hit for the Angels. Escobar. He was a strikeout victim his first time. That one ripped, but foul. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Angels go quietly there. They're down one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. In the air, left field. Gritchick drifts towards it. And there's one down. The first baseman, number 23. Ty France getting ready to hit. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. Next offering is in for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Next offering is downstairs. Looking 
for the K. Here's the left fielder, Dylan Moore. Went down on strikes his first time through. Line drive and base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Runner at first with two away. In now is the Mariners DH. Sam Haggerty, the kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Ball misses. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Sandoval checks the runner. Moore dives back in safely. Runner at second, two down. They say it went. Line drive, base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. The run comes in from second. It's 2 nothing, And he's got a double. Picks himself up an RBI. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. He's got it, and that is out number three. RBI double for the M's, and it's two zip. Ready now for the fifth inning, and now the designated hitter for the Angels, Matt Theis. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Randall Gritchick, the next to hit for the Angels at the belt and fires. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Puts it away for the out. Brett Phillips, the next to hit for the Angels. The 1-1. One -one. Swing and a miss. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. One and two now. And yeah, that's outside. Good miss with that change up away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here. On the hitter side, nice job of laying off that pitch. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Rodriguez makes the grab. Two down. And stepping in is the speedy Jordan Adams. He's over one. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Dice, the runner at first with two gone. Got it by him for the K. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk. Back here at the ballpark, and the batter will be the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. Pitch That's misses, and it's two and one. Activity in the bullpen, number 59, getting loose out there. Wants warming up as well. Popped up left side. Number nine on the move. Snags it on the run. One down. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. The wind of the pitch. Check swing. He went slider right there. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Phillips under it. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. And now Teoscar Hernandez.
Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. And that extends the inning. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. One left for Seattle. They're up 2 nothing. Welcome back. Leading off, number 18. The first baseman. Number 18. The 1 1. And that one is lifted in the air. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Number nine, the next to hit for the Angels. Next one oh. just misses. And the count's even at two. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. And now it's filled up. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Right-hander kicks, deals. Here's a high chopper. Raleigh whips He's it down. to first. Two up, two down. The third base, number eight. Here's Mike, Mike. Moustakis to hit. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. In the air, right field. Hernandez settles underneath it. He makes the grab. And that will end the inning. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. We go to the bottom half of inning number six. And the five, six, seven slots do. Back now for the bottom of the sixth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Number 59. Pretty Ladies tight game. So they're looking for quality please. pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right number where it is. Jose All the strike. The pitch. And a swing and a miss there. Action in the pen down there. Ben Joyce appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Started after it. Appeal to first. And no swing, says Jerry Hillsdale. Right-handed reliever. Struck him out looking. And now the first baseman, Ty France. And a 1-1. One, one. one ball, two straight. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. And I'm so glad I'm retired. And a 3-2. Line the other way. That's a fair ball and down the right field line and towards that corner. To the shortstop at second, but it pulls him off the base. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. At the plate, Sam Haggerty. Pitch no, misses. Two and one. Two and one. Please. There's a strike. More on its second with two down. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Now the throw to first on the run. And that is the inning. Mariners lead one, but they're on top 2 nothing.
back in Seattle. We go to the top of the seventh, and here's the catcher, Logan Ohapi. And the pitch. On a line, base hit. The batter number five. Only two Second hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. And here comes Scott Service as he's ready to make a change on the mound. Number 33 gives way. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Trent Thornton will take over here. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Eduardo Escobar, the next to hit for the Angels. Here's a 1-1. And that's downstairs and outside. Runner at first with no outs here. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Some activity in the Mariners bullpen. Matt Brash, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Leon getting loose as well. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Rodriguez settles under it, drops into the glove, and there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. And now the D.H., Matt Theis. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. A pretty good break on the curveball right there. Maybe not as down in the zone as he would have liked, but deceptive enough to get that swing and miss. And if you don't catch that pitch out front on the barrel, it bears in on you pretty hard. That misses. Oh. And now three balls and a strike. Brett Phillips up next. Next offering is foul back. The kick, the 3 2. Out towards left center. Rodriguez heads towards it. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And that is that. Angels leave one, and they're down 2 0. Back at T-Mobile Park. Now it's the second baseman, Jose Caballero. The second baseman, Jose Caballero. Here's a 1-1. This to center field. Phillips moving under it. Hauls it in for the out. Here's the shortstop at the play, J.P. Crawford. That misses the zone, two and two. The pitch. Swings and misses, struck him out. That right there is one of those breaking balls that you swing through and you feel like you should have done something with it or at least spoiled it away. But when it's breaking in on you like that, if the spin is tight enough, it can actually tie you up. That's in there. And the count is even two and two. Got him swinging. And one, two, three, go the Mariners as they're unable to add to their 2 0 lead. Matt Brash gets handed the rock out of the pen. He has a great slider with tons of movement. 
So in now for the Angels, Brett Phillips. That one ripped left field. Moore raging back towards the wall. Back some more. And caught on the warning track. And now the right fielder, Jordan Adams. That just misses. Three and one. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. In the air to left center. Rodriguez right there to make the grab. And there's two down. Number 18, the next to hit for the Angels. One for three. That one's in there. One and two. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. One-two now. Good eye right there. Two balls. Two strikes. Two-two down. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Angels go down one, two, three. They trail things here, two nothing. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Andrew Wants. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep them within striking distance. So now one and two. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Really nice execution of the cut fastball right there. Similar to how you might throw a two-strike slider, start it middle away, let it break, and take over that outside corner of the plate. But sometimes with a cutter, you just don't. It's in and out of his glove. <laughs> hey, Eugenio Suarez is up to the plate now. He's already homered in this game. And he deals. Oh. Movement in the bullpen. Ben Joyce, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Two and one now. And fouled off. Raleigh, the runner at first with one gone to the inning. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone now. So two down now, and here is Ty France. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. One left for Seattle, but they hold the 2 nothing lead. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Andres Munoz. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. That was absolute gas, triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. The pitch. Struck him out looking. Strike three called on a slider at the knees. Mike Moustakis, the next to hit for the Angels. The pitch. That one in triple digits. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in, and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. Just one strike away. Swing and a ball popped up. He's got a ball game, and the Mariners claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Well, we saw a lot of good pitching and defense in this ball game. When you have a low-scoring game, it's imperative that the guys stay on their toes, ready to make plays behind their pitcher, and they did exactly that. It's an excellent win. Everyone goes in the clubhouse feeling really good about themselves.
line score tonight. First for the victorious Seattle Mariners. Two runs, six hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the Angels, no runs on only two hits. Two errors, they left four runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 31 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.